My name is Naomi Rivera and I'm a coach with the Keys Pathways program and I'd like to share a little bit about how to connect parents to the classroom. Studies have shown that children whose parents are involved in their child's school and classroom actually show greater progress in their learning. So I'd like to take an opportunity to share a few ideas on how we can facilitate that connection. One of the ways to connect parents to the classroom is to actually ask them to be a volunteer in the room. Ask them to come into your classroom and share a story or a song that they may know, share a talent or an activity that they can do with the classroom. Another way is to send home a family project, something that the children can do with their parents or their siblings or anybody at home that they can send back to the classroom and share with their classmates. Another thing to do is have the school plan uh, an after-school activity. It can be an open house, it can be a parent-teacher conference, something fun, maybe like a talent show or a movie night or a book fair, just a social event where everybody can get together and enjoy one's company. Another opportunity is to provide community uh, resources providing the parents with brochures and information about developmental screenings, maybe family or child care assistance, uh, and health care resources is a good way to really involve the parents and let them know that we care and that we're thinking about them and that we're here to help. Another opportunity is to provide workshops and trainings for families. Providing workshops on topics that are relevant to what's going on at home, maybe a topic concerning promoting learning in the home, creating a, a child library in the house, or something on challenging behaviors and child guidance. Another way to really connect with families is to provide some form of communication. It can be a dialogue notebook or a daily log. We can use like a spiral notebook or a composition notebook, something where the parents can just write a quick message, send it to school, and the teachers can read it at some point throughout the day, write a response, put it in the child's book bag and send it back home. Another good way are apps and online portals. These apps are used by only the classroom, so the teachers can set up a, a community online where they can speak to the parents, the parents can write messages in return, teachers can post pictures of things that are happening in the classroom, record entire events and celebrations that are happening, and really just foster that communication and really bring the parents into the room even if they can't physically be there. Newsletters and calendars are a good way to keep the parents informed and connected. We can put announcements on there, upcoming events, birthdays, and even tips on activities and lessons that the parents can do at home. Parent surveys is another good way to really incorporate the parents' ideas. They can share their concerns, any suggestions they might have and really express what their expectations are. What are their goals for their child in the classroom? And they can even express any volunteer opportunities that we haven't thought of that they're willing to do. Um, we can just do this by questions or polls and really be mindful about incorporating that feedback into our classroom culture. Another way is social media. A lot of people are involved with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. These are great ways to connect not only the parents into the classroom, but parents with one another. They can see what's happening in the school. They can really be involved in being aware of what's happening in their child's class, in their daily activities. So parents really, really want to be involved. And oftentimes it's just a matter of not knowing how, and we can really be creative on providing ideas and, and creating that bridge um, and helping parents stay connected to the classroom.